Hello everyone, welcome to Harry B Creative Minds and today I'm going to run through an overview of Hotjar. Hotjar is a heat mapping tool that you can use to um, see how people are interacting with your website. As you can see, I've got um, google.com opened up. I've typed in Hotjar and the first thing that comes up is a sponsored link, um, but then you can scroll all the way down, you can see hotchart.com. Click on that. And um, it takes you to this page, which tells you a bit more about um, Hotchart, the products, the user cases, the pricing. Um, and I'm just going to go straight into sign in because I've already signed up. And you can see it takes you into the tool, insightshotchar.com and the sites. So I'll go from the left, from overview and go all the way to engage and just explain a few things. Um, so here you can see uh, the overview is uh, suggested for you, need help with your plan. Um, and you click here and it tells you how many monthly sessions um, are you getting if it's less than 120,000 click you, you click submit um and then you can um select a time where you can uh, schedule a time with the sales team if you want people to the sales team to help you with your hot jar plan for the moment i've just got a free plan um so but yeah just showing you the option of um uh, going to an evaluation with the sales team you can choose the time have a 15 minute chat so that you can choose an appropriate um, plan for your needs um and now if i just go through here you can uh, see um, enable now. Um, that's a two-factor um, authentication. If you want, click on that. You can choose an avatar. Um, my name, Harry B. I'm a marketer. And you can change your password if you want to secure your account um, even more. I'm just going to go back. It's taking me back. So here's the overview. Um, so yeah, we can look at heat maps. Um, and then if you see the heat map, this is the website that I have. It's Harry B Creative Minds. If I click on view, or I can go to heat maps, click on view. And it shows me um, my um, website. Um, this is like a, a view recording. It says upgrade to record to view recordings of this page. Uh, as I said, I'm on the free version. Um, total clicks, I've got five clicks. Average time on page, uh, time on page is like 5.27 uh, minutes. And uh, the screenshot date is from the 31st of December. So you can show highlights. Um, it's just showing you the points at which you have interaction. So the red points is, on, is like clicks. This is where users are actually clicking on the links. Um, and then if you've got download, you can download um, a JPEG image only, or you can download the raw um, CSV file. I'm just opening up an Excel, the CSV file, so you can see. So it's just showing you um it, look if you look at the CSS, it's showing you what's been what's been clicked you can see the total number of clicks um visible image yes total in terms of percentage 20 percent. so i'm just going to click the half don't save so at least you can see what that means um and on the right is this is from the last 30 days um and it gives you a screenshot. It's, it's fairly self-explanatory, very useful. So at least one can deduce from this that the read more um, uh, call to action is something that is effective because people are clicking on it. Um, and um, yeah, that's quite positive. Um, just going to go further down onto the dashboard. We've taken a look at the overview. Now we're going to go to the dashboard. As you can see, just underneath here, you can add a new heat map if you wanted to. Um, I can select one of these URLs and 
from the my website and then i it'll says it's turning up the heat just wait the data's on its way and that's how you add um, new um uh, heat maps and then i'm just going to click on save i'm just going to call this um a page how uh, to add highlight to text in Derby go to click on save so yeah that's my next heat map and hopefully it takes a while it, um I'd say check the next day you'll be able to see the highlights and you'll be able to download, you'll be able to see some of the data, but at the moment, it will take some time to um, capture some of that information. Already you can see, um, I can see average time page two, two minutes from this screenshot. Um, yeah, so if I come back, I'll see the interactivities on this um, page now that's been saved. Um, so yeah, going to the dashboard, it just shows you a bit more of a deeper kind of view of um, hot char. You can see total number of sessions. You can see average session duration, bounce rate. Um, you can, the read more buttons I was talking about, if I click on, you can see read more. Um, if you want to have more details on who's been interacting with read more, let's click it's going for C plans. So it's saying to you that, look, you know, you need to upgrade. As, as I said, I'm on the basic um, uh, plan, which is um, charging me nothing, but at least you can see the top pages because he's interacting. Um, I can't click on it because um, I'm not upgraded but you can see who's interacting with your page, even with the basic plan. Um, page, click, page, clicks and returns. It's when returns, you can see one in December 31st and it's gone up. Uh, new versus returning. Uh, you can see the number of users that have been coming back. You see the technology that's also been used, which is desktop. Um, you see five sessions. You can also change from browser to operating system if you like. Uh, top countries where the traffic's coming from, Canada and Bangladesh, got three sessions each. And you can add a new trend if you wanted to. So if I click on add a new trend, it says talk to sales. So that means upgrade. So yeah, just going to go back. Um, so that's new trends. Let's see highlights. So highlights is um, just a 30 second view of um, highlights being taken. So if I click on that, it's a recording. So it just shows you um, how this page has been interacted with um, and how the person is using their um, cursor to look at content. Uh, and it's a recording um, just for about uh, 30 seconds. It's good. It uh, gives you an idea of what content um, people are interested in. Um, and yeah, you can you can share this if you like, um, and you can download this as well. Um, and uh, yeah, it's very useful. Um, any source you can you can apply. You can do heat maps. You can do recordings. You can do any label, and you can do these are the statuses as well. Um, so I'm just going to go now to trends. That takes you to if you want more information, you need to go to the sales team. And the recordings, we've just, you can see a few recordings that I have um, stored. Um, this one I've already played, um, that's moderate. Um, it's just 21 actions. And then I've got another one here. Let's just play that. It just shows you the interactivity on the page. It shows you how it's been interacted with. It's useful information. The read more button seems to be much more interesting. Yeah. I just fast forward. 
and yeah, you can pause it, you can go forward, you can do various things, um, and you can analyze um, the interactivity of the uh, user that's um, uh, visiting your site. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to go into the next. So these, let's go back. These are the recordings. Um, and then I can show you some of the heat maps, which you're saying. So that's what we've gone through that. You can add a new heat map. Feedback is um, if you want to have um, feedback on your website immediately, you can add this widget, click on setup. There's a button and you go through these steps, which is one, two, summary. And then you add the widget, uh, the button, or you can do um, an embed as well um, onto your um, website. Then um, you can also add service as well. Um, you can do a new survey and you can, by doing new survey, you can um, select which um, survey questions you want. Um, it'll build it for you. You can create the new survey. And in the end, you can also put that on your um, website if you want. Um, and then engage um, is a new feature which where the it automates the entire user research. You'll have to accept the conditions. If I accept conditions, um, then it says complain your your um, time zone. Um, you can create a new research project. You can also book a demo. So you can book a demo with the sales team so they can show you how to use this. Um, and you can do a started pre-call um, test just a quick request and yeah you can just confirm you can and the sales team will contact you to set this up um but yeah for the basic features um i've gone through overview dashboard highlights um trends um recordings uh, and um, heat maps and what else um, feedback and surveys and engage um, and the bottom is integrations. Integrations is where you can um, integrate with Slack, Google Optimize. If I take, um, let's say, Google Analytics, for example, it'll tell you Google Tag Manager is not supported. Um, but um, it does give you some uh, re good resources as to uh, how you can use Google Analytics with Hotjar. Um, and then if I go back, you can see it integrates well with Zapier, HubSpot, Optimizely, um, Slack as well, um, Segments, and uh, OmniCovert. And if I click on OmniCovert, again, you'll have to upgrade so that you can um, uh, integrate with it. Um, and if you click on Upgrade to Unlock, it's a scheduler call um, with the billing team. Um, yeah, but like I said, this is just a quick overview of uh, Hotjar showing you the, the basic plan and what you can do with it. Um, I would say if you want to get more out of Hotjar, depending on your needs, and if you've got lots of traffic, then it might be worth upgrading to some of the plans. If I go to manage my plan, it should... It shows you, you can say compare plans. You can see the pricing and it goes all the way from basic to uh, plus, which is $32 uh, a month. Although there's a the free discount um, uh, the happening right about now promotion. And uh, depending on the amount of data you have, this is for 3000 sessions. You can filter, you can segment. Then you've got business. Um, We've starting from 500 daily sessions. You've got custom built integrations, removal of the uh, Hotjar branding. Um, and then um, for the scale, which is more than $80 a month, you just book a call with the sales team. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you like the session. Um, please give me your comments uh, on the basic um, overview of Hotjar. 
and uh, look forward to sharing more content and more videos uh, with you. Thank you.